Hi friends, in this video I am going to cover this particular vulnerability called cross site request forgery or CSRF. This is one of the top 10 OWASP 10 vulnerability and is most commonly found in web applications. So what this particular vulnerability is, uh, it allows malicious uh, attackers or hackers to craft malicious urls so that uh, uh, it can perform certain actions without uh, the user knowing of them so basically what the um, idea behind this is the attacker crafts a malicious url sends it to the victim and uh, when the victim clicks it uh, their password gets changed or uh, something like this uh, a malicious action is uh, performed without uh, even knowing of them so in this uh, particular scenario uh, we have uh, a password change uh, functionality from this uh, application interface and uh, how it works is uh, simply uh, the legitimate user who is logged in uh, performs a password change request and uh, in this request the user have to enter new password and then enter it once again to confirm it so if i enter password and password senses the request and the password changed so if we see the request is a get request because the parameters are passed as the in a url the parameter is passed this is the first parameter password new and this is the second parameter password confirm so how this can be exploited is uh, we can simply copy this url and uh, we have this url if we see okay so this is the url and uh, what an attacker can try is uh, craft this url to an attacker can actually um, uh, encode this entire thing with the uh, url encoding so that uh, it becomes difficult for the users to identify uh, what it is actually doing so if i send this link to somebody they might get to know okay this is changing my password and there is something like this is happening but uh, what if i url encode it or uh, i can also do something called uh, url shortening i can simply uh, use uh, uh, there are many few there are many free resources free websites which allows you to shorten your links that means uh, uh, you just need to give it the, the url and they will provide you a short link for this which will be something like http gl and then some number and something like this so you can also use it or you can actually encode these parameters uh, in the form of U, URL encoding. So if I encode it, it will become this. In place of this password new, I can just put in the URL encoded values of it. Here, let's say we want to change our password to hacker. So, we just put in the URL encoded value here. And same value we need to put in here for the confirm password. And uh, this password confirm we need to url encode it as well so 
so now if you see this URL uh, you can't actually figure out what actually is happening now let me complete it first okay now if I send in this URL to somebody uh, they won't be able to figure out what actually is happening because uh, it's just containing a random numbers or something like for those who don't know encoding and uh, who are not aware that much so if I send in this URL to somebody they will just uh, click on it to see what it actually is and whenever the, the victim clicks it their password will get changed without knowing of them so if you see as a normal user it doesn't seem anything happened but their password uh, they are, it is get changed to hacker and uh, to confirm it we'll just log out and uh, try to log in with the password hacker so to make you see that uh, i'm logging in with admin and hacker okay so uh, you can clearly see i'm passing uh, username as admin and password as hacker and see if let's see if i can log into the machine or not and uh, yes i'm able to log in that means uh, the password really got changed and uh, this is the one of the thing which uh, can be done with CSRF and there are other things which uh, also can be done uh, in the same way so we got to be aware of it and the second thing and the second thing is that uh, not only password can be changed even uh, uh, the user can perform the attacker can perform any action which they want uh, without uh, the user knowing of them and that is because the user is legitimate and uh, they have uh, session cookies which are uh, provided by the web app and uh, which identifies that yes the user is a legitimate one and is uh, logged in with its credentials so that's it for the low level and uh, let's just try to do it for uh, medium level okay so at medium level uh, what this application is doing is allowing only those uh, users which are local to the system that means uh, if uh, I am accessing the DVWA interface from uh, other locations rather than my local machine I won't be able to change my password so this is doing so by checking the referral field that means if I pass in something so if I try to change the password here uh, it is not changed and this is because uh, let me show you why it's not changing so if I send in the request we see uh, this referral field the web application is using this referral field to identify whether the user is uh, a local user or uh, someone else so that's uh, also not a good idea to use uh, these fields to identify the user or uh, make it as a security shield for uh, preventing your application so if I simply change this to uh, a local host that means 127.0.0.1 and this is the loopback address for uh, a local host so if I forward this request now the password is changed again so 
that's uh, not preventing the CSRF again so to prevent it uh, we actually can see the high level of it uh, so as to get better understanding of how we can prevent this and as you see in the high level we got to enter the current password first in order to change our current password to something else so this is uh, quite a good thing to do because until I know the current password I won't be able to change the password to something new and this is uh, one of the techniques which are used to prevent uh, CSR CSRF attacks and uh, nowadays uh, the applications also use uh, some links uh, with some randomly generated uh, values and uh, actually what they does is they send in those links to your uh, registered emails and uh, when you click those when you click those uh, links uh, sent by the web app uh, you are able to change the password and uh, these are few of the common techniques which are used nowadays for preventing CSR, CSRF attacks so that's it for this video I hope you like it and uh, please subscribe to my channel at Myral Cost.